Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Check it, man. My boy Sean Con from Say Cheese TV man, is in the building. Man, how you doing? Man, man, it's been a minute, man. Yeah, like, what, like, like eight months? About eight months. Yeah, about eight, nine I, months. I, and I'll be like, man, and you know, at first I was anxious to get you back, but then I'll be like, you know what, man, he really right. Like, coming right back don't make no sense. So yeah. I like the way you move, man. Yeah, I, I just try to keep, uh, um, you know, just... Talk Low when it profile. matters. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes people just talk just to talk. You know. Yeah, you yeah. Know, you know that just as well as I know that. You <laughs> know what I mean? So, yeah, we we here. Yeah, we, man. Here. Thank you for coming on the show, man. Uh, last time, I mean, since you've been here, I, I went downtown to the grand opening, man. Uh, you did. Shout out to you, you and Barry, man. Y'all, yeah. man. Y'all boys, man. I was impressed, man. And man. the line made me think about New York when mm-hmm. we be out there. I was yeah. like, these niggas got a line out here. Long, I had to call you corner. that day. Yep. I was like, man, I, had I ain't to get you, I had to get y'all the VIP access, <laughs> right? Exactly. Yeah. yeah, that's crazy. The store shit, we almost made like five, half a million. I already know, man. It's all vintage. Like, we ain't even put the hype clothes in yet. You know, man. niggas now like the designer and shit like that. I don't really rock the designer too much. I throw little pieces on, but, you know, that's just the style right now. But break so, down to me the whole process of what made you even just get into retail, you know? Uh, should I always wear vintage clothing? And, uh... You know, I, I met my partner um, at a vintage swap meet that he put together. And mm-hmm. then um, he wanted to do one big event. And I'm like, hell no, nah. like, forget the event. Let's do a store. So, shit, we we got the store a little bit before the pandemic. And then we found, like, a real good real good price for it. The landlord, he was a fan of Say Cheese. So we got it a little bit cheaper than what it was. And it was the first vintage store in Deep Ellum. So, of course, they didn't mind. Wow. Are you more hands on with this business, or um, are you like not, a silent not, not partner? Not as much as I should be. I, I want to be hand because I'm not. I, I'm not a bank. I don't like to be looked at as a bank. Right. I'm an entrepreneur. Okay. I still like shit to be, you know, well done too. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not as hands on. I probably go to the store like twice a month because right. I don't like stepping on people's feet either. Like I like letting people be them, but. I still be wanting to throw my little creativity in there too, you know. Yeah, I know because we had like when we had remember we had the four stores and we had Whitney as the mm-hmm. district manager and we basically uh, we tried to make sure that we didn't we wanted to make sure that we covered our grounds with making sure we took care of our customers. Yeah, but then you want the people who work there to have their own voice too. It's right. hard though because yeah. the passion like we were really the passionate ones. Mm-hmm. Like like we like I know Barry. You say he kind of like that's what he was doing, right? Yeah. But but we was more the passionate ones. So at the end of the day, when we would hire people or bring people on, I come to find out if you didn't really give a percentage of something, you couldn't get that out of them like mm-hmm. you want, man. Exactly. So that's tough, man. Yeah, it's hard to get 100% out of somebody who doesn't invest their own in capital. Because mm-hmm. they when you take a loss, they're not really taking a loss. It's yeah. just whatever, on to the next. But when you're putting up your own money, like you're, you tend to be more, you know, like yeah. you said, more passionate about it. Oh man, I'm gonna be at that thing, man. I'm out in the streets telling everybody, man. "Hey, that was we was before the Instagram mm-hmm. and era. We we wrote the 2008 and nine. You talking about Facebook and no Instagram, and we yeah. was basically out there with the foot traffic, with the with yeah, the, we like that. We yeah, like we, we, we putting hustling. the flyers out. Mm-hmm. It was different. It's different time right. now. I get on there now. I see Smoothie down there with you. I see different yeah. people coming to the show. A lot of, da- a lot of Dallas Mavericks. A lot Cowboys, of Dallas Mavericks. So of I see uh, who else? I seen a lot of people. Yeah, that's a lot there. of people. Man, it was people flying in. I man, said, man, people was driving from like New Orleans, bro. It was a lot of people. Out I there. was loving it too. And then I, when I seen it, it's I multicultural because I yeah. saw black, white, oh, Chinese, every color. Every, every color. Yeah, most yeah. of our money come from uh, walking traffic. So like mm. visitors yeah. and like white people. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. loved it, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. I, I just love the hustle too. Mm-hmm. Like when I see somebody winning and I see somebody that's doing something that look like me, mm-hmm. oh man, they do so. That's why when when Shorty Low Junior came down and the man, I, was, I went and talked to Bear, I was like, yeah, yeah, man, let him know we came back. I want right. people to know when they come to Dallas, they need to be coming checking out this, exactly. this vintage world, man. Yep, real talk. But man. a lot of people don't know the value of vintage. Man, like people, man, that's the thing. Like, like Tortiz, like Selena. When she was alive in like 93, 94, 95, like when she went on tour and she saw her merch, them shirts right now are worth like two grand. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Because you can't make another. You can't get, you another. Can't get another one from 95. So, yeah, it's just shit like that. But it's a lot of money. How do people know the difference? Because then somebody can always press one. Nah, that it's, like just a certain, like it's like it. a certain tag. And then, you know, these shirts are like 30 years old now. So they're not really like black. They're like mm-hmm. ashy gray. Ashy gray yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's like a certain look. You can't you can't duplicate it. It's right. almost impossible. Yeah. The words are uh cracked up. Cracked and, up and mm-hmm. you can just tell like 
Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.